What I really want you to be is authentic. And if you're funny, be funny. If you're serious, be serious. Don't try to be something you're not. You, you be you. And different people have a different, like I'm not Eric Thomas. Eric Thomas gets up there, it's real passionate. He just boom, 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 boom. Some people resonate with that and some people like, quit screaming at me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I mean, it's just true. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, you're screaming too much, man. Like, slow down, take a breath, right? Like, so, you know, but he's made millions of dollars doing it that way. So it's like, I don't get into who's right or who's wrong here. What I get into is you be your authentic self. But what I do get into is how do you connect to an audience? Okay, so what I was thinking about when Dan was given his presentation was here is a, here's some simple formulas when you're presenting. And I learned this from Covey. There's a pain, there's a problem, and there's a solution. And, he, and Dan pretty much covered all of these things in his presentation. Here's the pain people experience. They don't know what to do. On Monday, they're confused. This person tells them to do this. This person tells them to do this, right? And that creates, it's like, this is miserable. Like, I need, I need a, then, so what's the real problem that, that you're solving for the audience that a person goes, I want to sign up for this webinar because I'm experiencing this pain. So it's a real simple formula. It's like, here's the pain that you're experiencing. Here's the problem. Here's the solution to the problem. Now, the only thing I'd like to see Dan do more here is he actually explain to me what you're going to cover in the webinar. So this is a, like a lot of people at that point, and I've done, done this before, rush through that. Come to the webinar, come to the webinar, come to the webinar. When you should say, when you come to this webinar, there's really four things I'm going to teach you. Because people want to know if I'm going to spend an hour with you, what am I going to learn? So you got to be very specific. There's a unique system that I have that I teach. I'm going, to, I'm going to break this system down in my webinar. So, so there's a discomfort, there's a problem, and there's a solution. Now, the formula that I mentioned yesterday is more a formula like this. This is a formula I use to speak. So I come out and I very first try to connect with the audience. And that is actually in how you walk out to the stage, how you make eye contact, how you smile how there's no friction, how you, your first interaction with the audience. Because many times the audience don't know who you are and they're skeptical. Right? And it's like, who is this dude? And is he going to be valuable or not valuable? That's what they're thinking. Okay? So I connect and then I have a, a greeting. Good morning. Man, I'm excited to be in here. Okay? I do typically say something about the person who invited me there. Okay, and then I move into a story of origin, which will be the heart, a heart story. Okay, you could say, look, I've owned these franchises and here's what I learned, right? Like you go back to a point in time of when you had a breakthrough or a breakdown. Hey, I think the content opens your mind, but the coaching could change your life. If you want me to speak, coach, train, or, and lead you and your people, just text this number and let's get you started. So, so a story of origin is a, is a revelation that you had, right? And my story of origin is always the same. I was raised by a single mother. She had me when she was 16 years old. I grew up in a small town in Tennessee. She worked multiple jobs and she took me to a baseball field. I was really raised by coaches on a baseball field or in a gym, and it was there that I, made, I had a simple revelation, everybody needs a coach in their life. See, that's a story of origin. And I may say, how many of you have ever had a good coach at some point in your life? People raise their hand. How many of you have ever had a bad coach at some point in your life? <laughs> and the reason I do that is because it, it's a moment of levity where it loosens people up. They laugh a little bit. I don't start with the joke. I start with this story, and then I say, how many of you ever had a bad coach? And people laugh and say, oh, I've had a bad coach before. So you know the power of a good coach in your life, right? Mm -hmm. And so, so that is called a story of origin, okay? Then I pivot, so I got 
Connect, greeting, heart, heart story. Then I, then I move into, you know, kind of sometimes what qualifies me, I spent, and I don't do it like look at me, I do it like I spent a decade of my life as a high school women's basketball coach. Moms and dads brought their kids to me and they said they all had a lot of potential, right? What is potential? How many of you in this room think you got a lot of potential? Right? See where I'm going? Mm -hmm. And so then I kind of pivot to this, what qualifies me, and I'm telling a story while I'm doing it, and then I move into the head, which is where I'm going to teach you something. I had this big revelation about prey drive. Here's what prey drive is. And I really figured out there was three phases of this drive and five activators of this drive. And here's why you should be interested in it. And there's a section of the talk that is teaching you something. Heart, connection, heart, head. Then that is taking me to when I finish the talk, which will be a heart story. And you may have three or four of these core stories that you tell, right? Like one of my core heart stories is two funerals. I've spoken at two funerals where, you know, they really didn't do that lot, a lot in their lifetime and it was hard to come up with what to say at the eulogy because they didn't really do a lot with their life. And man, you don't want to go out this way. That's a heart story to end with. It's like, man, I'm doing something with my life. You know, I'm, I'm doing something with this. Okay, it may be, uh, it may be a story of... Uh, you know, there's, there's several heart stories that I may tell at the end based on the audience and the vibe of the audience to try to pivot on a high, on, you know, like, all right, that was good. Like, that dude really moved me. That dude really touched me. Now, somewhere in here has got to be an invitation if you're making an offer. And this is called pre-framing. And pre-framing is, look, I think there's people in this room who want to make a decision to go pro. You want to leave your amateur desires behind and decide. And there are habits of amateurs and habits of pros. And how many of you want to make the pro money? And if you're tired of playing at a small level, right, then I'm going to invite you to take an action with me. This speaking engagement ain't going to change your life. Being coached by me is going to change your life. 